Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Christoph comes in <laughs> with a comment slash question slash feedback. Awareness. He comes in, Experience. Yes. He comes in with a cold, wet fish and... I finally received my 5900X and oh my God. The cold wet fish slapped me upside the head hard. Games are so much smoother than my 7700K. Warper speed has been achieved, as Rogue would say. Wee! <laughs> I love it when you do that. Um, I want to tell everyone out there something very important. We've been saying this, we've been saying it over and over. And we get a lot of pushback from people. Uh, no offense. Some of them are chuckleheads. You know who you are. Actually, you might not know who you are. And some of you just haven't experienced it and so you don't have an awareness. There's a difference between those two groups. One group is deliberately obtuse. The other group goes, but is it really going to be that much better? I mean, isn't an i7 7700K great? I mean, I paid 350 for it. It hasn't been that long. Yes, it has. It's actually approaching, what, five years, four years? Uh, uh, it's coming up on more years than you think. You're, you're, you're approaching five years on a 7700K. Uh, wow, it's been that long. It's amazing. So here's the deal. You can absolutely play all the games you want on an i7-7700K. It won't be the smoothest experience in the world. You can't multitask very well. It's very limiting. But depending upon what your expectations are, you know what? You could even play Cyberpunk 2077 on an i7-7700K. It will not be that smooth. It will stutter. It'll have slowdown. But if you deal with that, you can. But if you go from a 7700K to a Ryzen 9 5900X, you're gonna have a come to Jesus moment where you go, oh my God, my computer sucked. Why didn't anyone tell me? To which I would respond, we've been telling you, dude. We've been telling you for months and years. I The minute the Ryzen 9 3900X launched in July of 2019, approaching two years ago, wow. I said, if you're gonna upgrade, go to the Ryzen 9 and be done with it. You don't need 12 cores to game. No, yeah. no, 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 no. If you're gonna upgrade, upgrade. If you're gonna upgrade, upgrade so you can feel the fish hit you on the back of the head when you go, holy frack. We, we, need, a, we need a wet fish we thing. We need a wet fish <laughs> thing. We'll make it an NFT. <laughs> <laughs> a million dollars, there you go. Anyways, the point is, Need is the wrong word. No, it's... You don't need a gaming computer. Throw the word need out of your vocabulary. If any of you are going, but what do I, what do I need to play a game? You don't need anything. It's all a scale of want and it's all a scale of user experience. Going from 16 gigs of RAM to 32 gigs of RAM does not double your frame rate. It does not suddenly make a crap computer a good computer. It improves the user experience and it makes the entire responsiveness uh, it makes the, the little latency jumps of things having to be cached to the disk or RAM compression. It takes all those out. It makes a better premium experience. Going from, from four, four cores, cores, in his case, to 12, 12 cores, cores. He, that's and just... And eight threads to... Um, to 24, 24. And an IPC jump. Yep. And, you know, of course, he, he probably also got a better NVMe drive and RAM. And, I mean, you get a lot of other upgrades when you do it. If you're watching this, the point of this, if you're watching and you're going, do, I don't really, do I need an upgrade? I mean, my game launches, my game runs, I play my game. Well, what's the point in an upgrade? Well, what's the point in air conditioning? You don't need air conditioning. You can have fans. You can have a, a, a swamp cooler. You can... Open the windows. You don't need a car. You just walk everywhere. Yep. You get a horse. Um, What's the point in round wheels? It works <laughs> perfectly fine with square ones. Mythbusters <laughs> tested it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the whole point 
is that the the word need misses the point. If you don't have the money, you don't have the money, and it's a moot conversation. If you, if you're digging in a dumpster for a peach pit because you don't have two nickels to rub together, well, obviously you're not going to be buying a rise of nine. But if you're asking the question, is there any point? Is there any real benefit? I'm 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 curious as to what Mr. Saucy thought. Is he thought I'll give this a whirl or? I mean, did he think it was not going to do much? I'm just curious as to the thought process behind, like... I am dying to do the live video, or not live stream, but the I am dying to record the response when we upgrade Muse's computer. Oh, yeah. And the, she... The laptop or the computer? Both. We're going to do them both. Yeah, we're going to do both of them. Oh, my... Because she's got 2014, 2013 hardware... Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to upgrade there. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. I, what people put up with, and she's put up with it because it's a progressive series of, I'll get six more months out of it. It's almost a rational escalation. I'll get, I'll upgrade next year. I'll upgrade in six months. Yep. But the problem is. Well, until it dies, people just live with it. But you don't realize what you're living with. Correct. And then you upgrade and you go, what the heck did I wait for? Exactly. Oh my God, this is... Look, simple example. These two laptops. Oh my goodness. These aren't... We don't even use these for gaming. We use these for streaming. Before we started this recording, this stream that we're taking this out of, 2016, 2018, they're only two years apart. They are both i7s. They are both 45 watt TDP chips. They both have NVIDIA graphics cards. They both have 16 gigs of RAM. They both have SSDs in them. They're kind of basically the same. Are they even close? No. Does this machine kick that machine's posterior to the moon? Yep. It does. I'll start this one uh, updating before this one and this one will finish first. Every time. Sometimes in half the time. Mm -hmm. And this actually has a very nice Samsung 850 Evo SSD in it. This has whatever El Cheapo SSD it I came with. I don't remember what you It's a 256 gig stick. Um, here's the difference. i7 6700HQ, four cores, eight threads, first gen Skylake i7 8700h h or hq six cores 12 threads here's the big difference 2.5 gigahertz 3.5 gigahertz yep you notice a difference refreshed board refreshed architecture same amount of ram he also upgraded from 16 to 64 gigs of RAM too. Oh, he God. said that feels great as well. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Christoph. Fly me to the moon. What? You have to sing that now. No, that's all I know. Anyway, yeah, it's um, if you have the money and you're asking, is upgrading a three to five year old computer worth it? Yes. yes. Once your computer is older than that, there's no real savings in say, I mean, there is savings, I guess. To, you're just putting up with old stuff at that point. Let it go. Your computer should last you three to five years. Expecting your computer to last longer than five years is foolish and unrealistic. Mean. That's really never been the case. And I've seen, would you not agree that we've been asked a lot over the past year, uh, if I buy this or this, will that last me 10 years? Oh, yeah. A lot. No. No. None of it ever lasts 10 years. Let me put it this way. If you buy the best and super premium now and you expect it to last 10 years, it becomes obsolete entry-level garbage by that point, and you have this downward spiral. If you have this budget and expectation, you're not going to like it after a couple of years. Ian needs Rocket Lake. Hey, Ian. <laughs> oh, Tech Tech Potato has joined us. Mm-hmm. In any case, that's all I had to say about the... Uh, about Mr. Saucy's About the cold, wet fish, warp speed, and... Whee! 
URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.